In this session we want to look at creating our design layers and we also want to look at creating stories. Maybe we need to explain what design layers and stories are all about. When we create a project in Vectorworks we have the ability to create design layers which are a little bit like model space and we also have the ability to create sheet layers which are paper space and AutoCAD. We've got a concept for our building. We've got a first floor, a second floor, and we're going to have a, a roof structure and a parapet wall. But how do we turn these into design layers for our project? Here's the file that I created earlier called Step 2. If you're having trouble with Vectorworks, or if you didn't create what you needed for the first step, you can open Step 2 because it's got all the work that we've done. I'll save this as Step 3 so that you can use it for starting Step 3. So what we need to do is we need to look at our concept and think about how we're going to create our design layers, our stories, and something called levels. Let's have a look at a concept. Here's a sketch I created earlier. I've just dragged and dropped this into Vectorworks. So the idea is going to be that we're going to have a story one up to the underside of our slab, and then story two is going to go from there to the underside of the slab above, and then story three is going to be the rest of the building. I've got some sizes that I want to use. These are all in millimeters, so it's about four feet from the ground level to the start of my floor. We've got about nine feet to the ceiling, and the upper floor's got about an eight foot ceiling, 2400 and 2700. So let's see how we can turn this into stories. I'll just push that to the side. I've got another sketch here I want to show you. I'll just bring this in. In this image you might notice that I've got the same dimensions but I've put them in a slightly different position. You might notice that these relate to the floor level of each part of my building. I'll just get that away, let's move that to the side, let's have a look at our next sketch. In this sketch I've started to decide what each story is going to include. Now we haven't talked about how to make stories in Vectorworks. The first thing is for us to understand what they are. They're a group of parts that make up our floor. And then we'll create them. So that's story one. Story two is this middle part here. And story three is the top of the building. So here are all my sketches. Story one, story two, and story three. In Vectorworks we use these stories to create a structure to our design layers. As well as having stories, we also have something called levels. Levels are like the detail of the stories. So I've got a sketch here to help explain that. I've just zoomed into my image. I wanted to talk about something called levels. Levels are the details that control the elevations of objects. So we can use levels to control ceiling heights the heights of beams, the heights of our skirting or our baseboard, the heights of our power sockets, or maybe the height of a slab relative to the overall floor. So we'll use a combination of design layers, stories which group design layers together, and levels that control elevations of objects. We'll have to create stories, levels and design layers in order to progress our project. So we'll keep these handy in case we need to come back to them. Click on the Layers button, and now click on Stories. So we're going to create stories. When we click on New, we get an ability to create a brand new story. When we create a new story, we have a thing called Levels, which we talked about earlier. The Levels can either create a design layer, like this one here, or they can be a level purely used to control elevations of objects. If we have a look at the sketch that I did earlier, I think it's in the way at the moment, let's just pull that out of the way. If you have a look at the sketch, you'll see that I've got levels like power socket, skirting, top of slab, or top of beam, underside of main beams, things like that. I find that these names don't make as much sense. Some of them do, like ceiling, that makes sense to me. And foundation might make sense to me. 
but ledge doesn't make sense to me. So I'm going to edit my default story levels and I'm going to start with my foundations and work up from there. Let's edit that ledge and I'm going to call this ledge the bottom of my footing. So the bottom of the footing is the underside of my footing object. So relative to the story, it's going to be about 600 millimeters, about 24 inches. It's not going to create a layer. It's only going to be used to control the elevations of things. We've got another one here, bottom of structure. Let's edit that and we'll call this one the top of the footing. So a new level type and this is top of footing or the bottom of the foundations if you prefer. Top of footing. Its elevation is about 300 or 12 inches below the floor. So I've now got a bottom of footing, top of footing. What else do I need? Well I might need a ceiling. That's good, I've got a ceiling. I might need a finished floor which will be zero relative to my story. I might have a top of structure which might be a slab. So let's have a look at that. That could be the top of structure. It's going to create a layer called slab. Let's take that away because we're going to use the floor for that. So a new level type which is top of veranda or top of patio slab. If you call it top of slab you need to be specific because is it the floor slab or is it slab outside which is the veranda. So this is the top of my veranda, so it's going to control the setting out of my slab relative to my story and give me control over the veranda slab separate from the floor slab. What about this one here? I'm not really sure what that one's for, so I'm going to delete it. We've got here one called bottom of structure. Let's edit that. I don't know what bottom of structure might mean, so I'm just going to call that roof. So if I need to create a roof, I've got a roof level and a roof name. Try to keep these names really simple. What about trying to create some of these other levels that we know we need? We need one for the skirting. So let's create a new level type. Skirting. This is going to control my baseboard or my skirting level. It's not going to create a layer. It's about 150 millimeters, say 6 inches and click OK. Do we need one for the underside of the beams? We might, but maybe not in this project. How about power sockets? Because we can create symbols that link to these story levels as well. New level type, top of power sockets. Power sockets, power outlets, whatever you would like to call them. Let's click OK. So we've got all of those things. Those are our defaults. So the reason I'm editing the defaults here rather than editing it just on one story is that I want to be able to choose these for every story. So in this project, for story one, which is the foundation layer, do we want foundations? Yep. Do we need a finished floor? We might do. We need a bottom of footing. We need that. The other question, do we actually need to have our foundation layer there. We can get rid of that if we want. Do we need a roof? No. Do we need a top of veranda? No. We don't need any of those other parts. So that's a way of creating our floor. So that's the basement or the foundation part of our building. Let's click on the new button because we need to create another floor above. Now if you remember this floor elevation was 1200 millimeters, four feet. It doesn't need a footing, it needs a finished floor. This one doesn't need a roof. Some projects you might need to put a roof in, but today we don't need to. Do we want a top of veranda? We might have our verandas outside slightly lower, so let's create one of those. We need a power socket, we need a skirting, and we might need a ceiling. Let's edit that level. 2700 for the ceiling. OK. And you notice when I've changed it from the default value, I end up with two. The one that I've edited plus my default one. It always happens. There isn't anything you can do about it. Let's OK that. 
So let's create our last one. At the moment it's giving us 2400 which is the height of the foundations plus the height of the floor below. So we need our foundations plus what do we want downstairs? Well we want 2700 plus we need something for the thickness of the slab plus we might need something for the plenum or, or the air supply under the ceiling. So the ceiling structure might be 300 the floor structure might be 250 and we can just keep putting in the plus sign Vectorworks will add all of these up for us. Click OK and so that gives us our floor to floor height. There we are, so story 1 that's our foundation story, story 2 that's our first floor and story 3 is our top floor. So we have all the things that we need. Let's just go back over this. So story two, top of veranda. Let's edit that because in this project, we want that to be a step down of about two inches, say 50 millimeters. Just check that. Make sure it's got the top of veranda for the correct one. OK. Story three. Let's have a look at that. We've also got a top of veranda. Again, we want this to step down a little bit. So let's edit that. Again, minus 50 millimeters or minus 2 inches. So it just steps down a little bit to keep the water out of our building. And you'll see that it's updated all of these parts as well. This gives you a nice graphic look for your structure. Let's, let's go back to our design layers. And you'll notice that our design layers are now all created so that they have the correct elevations. I'm just going to edit this. Our, wall layer height 1200 so we don't get any walls that are too high. That starts there, that's fine and let's click OK. So it has created a whole lot of design layers for us. Floor 1, 2, 3 and so on. Design layer 1, this is going to become our imported site plan. I've got a sketch for you to import, it's got a site plan on it and we're going to use that as our site plan. So either back to layers here or if you want you can use the navigation palette find that design layer right click and choose edit and we're going to call this site scan. So it's going to be a scanned view of our site. Change the layer scale this needs to be around about 1 to 250 in order to get a site which is big to fit on our piece of paper. We can also right click here and choose new to create new design layers if we want. At some point we're going to need a site model layer. So we could create one. Again 1 to 250 that's at 0, 0 and OK. If I go back to my layer settings my organization dialog box, you'll see that some of my design layers are connected to stories, but some are not. We'll be using these to create our site scan, to create a three dimensional site model, but these we'll be using to create our actual building. Now that we've got our design layers created, I'd like to show you how you can quickly create some walls. These are not the walls we actually need, but I wanted to show you how these walls can be connected to the stories. So I'm just going to draw a quick model. And here I've got my top bound. We could use our layer wall height with a top offset of zero. So you might remember I changed my height offset to 1200. I can also change this to connect to the finished floor of the story above, which again is 1200. If I edit my stories, and change the height, that wall will automatically grow. If we go to the next floor up and draw a similar wall, there it is there, let's change that offset to zero again. So we've got a wall with no height. So we could choose to have a layer wall height, which might be the right amount, it might not. We could also choose to connect that to the finished floor of the story above. Or we could choose to connect it to something like the top of the veranda of the story above, which will be two inches lower. So this gives us an enormous amount of power when we're controlling our walls 
as to where they stop and start. We could connect it to our ceiling, the ceiling of the floor above, and so on. And that's our wall connected to our skirting. So I'm going to delete that because it's not needed. And I'll go back to the floor below. Let's delete those because we're going to draw our plan all over again. 